The year is 2008. It's a crisp November morning. And Cod World at War just dropped. Thanksgiving break just hit and school is out for the week. You know what to do. Smash down a bowl of Reese's Puffs. You get down to grinding that new campaign, baby. Level by level, hour by hour, you conquer the Pacific. Smash down another bowl of Reese's Puffs, and you continue to the Western Front. Your parents are arguing for the fifth time today in the next room over, but you don't let that stop you. You crank that volume knob up to the max, and you keep killing those dirty, smelly, but awfully stylish Nazis. Hours later, the sun begins to set. You grab the flag of the motherland and plant that fucker in the ground. You're victorious and thought the horrors of World War II were over. But boy, were you wrong. What is going on, everybody? This is insane. As you saw by the title, we are checking out COD Zombies in VR, specifically Nocturne Toten. Seven-year-old me back in 2008 never could have imagined what I'm seeing today. This map originally released with World of War, November 14, 2008, and 16 years later, here we are experiencing it in VR. Now you might be asking yourself, Butter, how are you playing COD Zombies in VR? So this is actually a mod for the game Contractors. Um, I'm currently playing with the Quest 2 without a PC. Uh, Contractors has mod support built into the game, so there is no need for a PC, which is freaking awesome. Now, I don't know about you guys and gals, but I remember playing this map for the first time after completing the campaign like it was yesterday. Now, that might be because I was most likely traumatized, but you know, what's a little bit of trauma to a seven year old? Right after loading in, I went to the top of the stairs here and just sat and waited. I really didn't know what to expect, so innocent old me just stood waiting for something to happen. And boy, it sure did. The first zombie climbed through the window, came around the corner towards me, and right when I saw those bright yellow eyes, I was terrified. So I ran to the TV screaming, shut it off, and then proceeded to run to my room to hide under my blanket. Yep, that was my first experience. I would love to know if anyone else had a similar experience or if I was alone in that trauma. Uh, yeah, uh, comment down below <laughs> about your first time playing zombies. I would love to hear about it. All right, so it's round three now. We have a little over 2,000 points. So we're going to open up the help room, where of course the beautiful box is, and there she is, right here, looking fabulous as ever. Let's see what we get here. Python. Of course. <laughs> of course the Python. Now, if you've ever played Contractors, you know you have to learn how to reload every single gun. So I know for a fact, if I keep this gun, it's going to get me killed in the end. So we're just going to get rid of it. And as you can see here, this is my first reload attempt. Uh, very slow. <laughs> you have to dump all the shells out first and then stick your new bullets in individually. And then flip it back. Now you could get proficient at it, but we don't got time for that right now. So... <laughs> we're just gonna toss it away all right so before we get into these higher rounds we're gonna hit the box again we get the glial here looking beautiful as ever this is probably one of my favorite guns honestly from black ops one i know it's not a world at war gun but the map creator here decided to use mostly black ops uh guns Alright, so before I end up getting cornered down here, I'm going to open up 
upstairs and I think the game plan is gonna be to camp it out in this back room here that's that's kind of the go-to plan usually when I'm running knocked it's probably gonna be quite a bit more difficult in VR trying to <laughs> manage the reloads and such so we'll see how this plays out Ooh, fucking raw motherfuckers Guns getting hungry. Time to feed. Hi, I'm Dempsey, and you are dead. Big toy for the big boy. Big bang, big hole. All right, times are getting tough. We've run out of ammo in the RPK and the Thunder Gun. Uh, I did get the Ray Gun, and we also just got the Commando out of the box. All right, let's just take a second and admire this loadout. We got the Commando, the Ray Gun, and the Thunder Gun here with no ammo, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it is surreal seeing the Commando in here. I mean, that's probably one of everybody's favorite weapons in Black Ops. It's just so sick looking. I mean, just look at this. Alright, so it's round 12 now. We got the commando, we got the ray gun. No ammo on the thunder gun. But I think we're looking pretty good. Let's reload this thing. Oh, we should get a little closer. Oh shit. Oh no, oh no. Oh shit! <laughs> well, you know, I didn't expect it to end like that, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> if you ended up enjoying this video, leave a like and a comment. It would help me out a ton as a new creator. Let me know if you'd like to see more VR Zombies gameplay. I can check out Kino or Varuk next. I also stream on Twitch. You can find that link down in the description below and follow me. This is what I've been streaming lately, so if you have any interest in any of these or not, come and hang out. Thanks for watching again, and before you leave, let me know your all-time favorite character quote from Zombies. Reach for me, Jugga girl. Hoorah. When you need some help to get by, something to help you feel strong, reach for Juggernog tonight, Sugar Seduction Delight. When you feel the need to be big and strong, reach for Juggernog tonight. <laughs>